Hey everybody, Brent from Stardew's Gaming here, back with another episode of our Crusader Kings 2 Fall of the Western Roman Empire campaign. So before we get started today, I wanted to just kind of catch you guys up on a few things. Uh, nothing that's happened off camera or anything, but I've been kind of surveying the map off camera, and I just wanted to let you guys know sort of what we need to do to move forward in the direction that we want. So, uh, unfortunately for us and our heir, um, he is not too much younger than our current ruler, 45 versus 62. So, uh, if Vicar Julius holds on any longer, this guy's not going to have a whole lot of time to do much, which is a real shame because uh, all of his claims need to be pressed in war to be of any use. And since the Western Roman Empire can't be declared war on, this will be his as soon as Julius dies, and I don't think we'll be ready to declare war on the Roman Empire. I don't think any of these are going to be of much use to us uh, in his lifetime, unfortunately, which is a real shame. Uh, but if we would like to get closer to forming the Western Roman Empire, we need to make a few things happen. Uh, the first of which is uh, because his title that he currently holds, the Diocese of Italy, is only a titular title, he actually doesn't have any de jure provinces. And so what we'll need to do is either conquer Umbra through the um, reconquest claim. And that will give us, how many provinces this, is this? It looks like six. That will give us six provinces. In order to form the Kingdom of Italy, we need 51% of its counties. We have 12 out of 33. Uh, so half of 33 would be 16 and a half. So basically we need 17 total. And so we have 12 now. This would give us six. That gives us 18. If we were able to take Umbra through the Reconquest, we would be able to form the Kingdom of Italy. That would give us du jour right to everything else here. We would get this just by inheritance, because he's already holding that. Uh, but we would still need to take these six down here. And so, at the very least, we'd have that claim... And we wouldn't need to reconquest for any of this. In fact, we may not even need to fight for it at all. We could probably offer vassalization given our strength. They may just give in. We also have um, Syracuse down here, this whole island of Sicily. And then um, Sardinia up here, all held by the Vandals. And that's going to be more difficult because the Vandals do hold quite a bit of land over here as well. And over here, this is actually their capital right there. So those are going to be harder to deal with because we're going to be f taking them from a major faction, probably through Reconquest as well. But uh, actually, this all falls under Italia, so technically we would have du jour claim on that and we could declare war on them through that. Uh, we would just have to take it bit by bit, possibly. It, it may give us all of it at once. Either way, it's going to be a big war, though, and one that we're not very well equipped to fight because uh, we're going to need a lot of ships, and we don't really have a navy of any sort, whereas they might. So there's that. If we want to reform the empire, we also need to retake this little bit of land up here. So uh, this kingdom needs to be ours before we can reform it. So where we're at right now is, let's see, let's scroll on up. We have all of Ananaria. We need Suburbicaria. I don't know exactly what they're referring to there, but I would assume it's basically all of the peninsula here. Because uh, one of these has a similar name, if I'm not mistaken. That's Campania. Was it the one up here? Yeah, Suburbicarium. So I, I'm assuming that's what they're referring to, and so we just need the entire peninsula. Maybe the islands as well, I'm not sure. And then the last one that they're referring to in that is, of course, the uh, the kingdom up here. Which is uh, these four, held by 
this Prince Archbishop. So these four right here. Uh, and then we have these five held by this High Chief. And then we need this one individual province. So that's going to be tricky. I think what we'll have to do is um, use Reconquest to take these five. We should be able to claim this title. We'd have to create it. But we'd have, we could create this title with those five. I believe. Oh, no. That would be 50%. Apparently there are 10. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so what we'd have to do is take those five through Reconquest. And before we do that, put our diplomat, or not our diplomat, our chancellor here. Have him try to net us a claim on that. If we can claim that individually, then we can use the du jour claim to take these remaining four. Otherwise, we have to do another Reconquest to get them all at once. So there's a lot that we need to do to make this happen. Also, um, I don't know how I missed this before, but I asked you guys where the Circus Maximus was. It's right here. I don't know how I missed that, but there it is. Um, it is just going to require 1,500 gold, and then you need to have at least 1,000 prestige. I don't think it removes that prestige. You just need to have it. On top of the um, Legion here, which is another... 2,000. We need 3,500 in total, which is a staggering amount of money. And then after all that, and holding all three of those dioceses, we can go ahead and reform the Western Roman Empire. Now, there is another option. When you go to... Uh, nope, that's not the right one. Down here. The Kingdom of Italy. There is actually another title that that falls under. And that is the Empire of Italia. So if we wanted to form our own empire, we could do that. We only need, I say only, but uh, we need 80% of the du jour counties. And it's going to cost us 300 gold for our piety. Uh, but we're already at 59%. And so by claiming the rest of the peninsula, there's a chance that we might get to that 80%. If not, the peninsula plus the islands very well might be enough. Or the peninsula plus uh, this kingdom north of the Alps here would be enough, I would wager. So that is actually a much easier empire to form. But it's not the Roman Empire. It's just the Empire of Italia. And uh, I believe that's kind of in there for somebody who's... I mean, obviously anybody could do it. But if you were playing as sort of the... Gothic successor states in Italy, that would probably be the direction you'd want to go. I don't know that they could even reform the Western Roman Empire, but since we're playing as a Roman, we've been playing as Romans, we're going to try for the loftier goal of reforming that Western Roman Empire. And I don't know if it's possible, I haven't looked, but I am curious if there's something that you can do to unite East and West at some point. And obviously, we could never do that if we um, created the Empire of Italia. And I did check one of the requirements in here to restore this empire. Or, excuse me, it's the other way around, I think. Yeah, it's the other way around. So, you can't actually have both. At least, that's the way I interpreted this. But in order to create this, you cannot be Emperor of the Western Roman Empire. But I, I would assume you'd create this first, and so maybe you can turn this one into the Western Roman Empire, but you definitely can't do the other one. So if you have the Western Roman, em, blah, God damn it, Western Roman Empire already, you cannot create this one. But maybe you could create this one and then turn it into the Western Roman, Roman Empire. But I would rather not find that out the hard way. But we'll see. Anyway... Today, we need to pray that this guy drops dead and go from there. I'm a bit disappointed that we have to create the Kingdom of Italy as a title because if we're trying to reform this empire, I don't really want kingdoms underneath us. I want dioceses are fine because that's 
adhering more to traditional Roman uh, order of things. We have the Diocese of Dalmatia. Um, I believe there's a Diocese of Ananaria, or at least there could be if we wanted to create it. Is this not... No, we have it. It's just... Right, I have both and it's not my primary. That's why it's not showing. But there's a Diocese of Ananaria, and then, of course, our current heir holds the Diocese of Italy. But the Diocese of Italy is a titular title. It doesn't actually mean anything. There's no du jour claim. So if I want du jour claim on these guys, I have to create the Kingdom of Italy, or I have to wait until this becomes a legitimate title. And I don't know how long that'll take, and I'd rather not have to wait forever. So it's a difficult call. But I don't want kingdoms and dioceses kind of scattered in my empire. I'd prefer to keep everything a diocese. But that may or may not be possible. All right, so um, this guy in my court wants to be my Magister Officiorum. Uh, the thing is, my current one is almost as good, very loyal to me, and a very powerful person in my kingdom. So even though you are slightly better, I kind of lose out by promoting you. I'm going to say give him a chance. Give him a chance. Okay. Nice. Massive recruitment drive. We're doing pretty well on the military front. Right now, we can call upon about 9,500 men, not counting our legion, uh, which is normally about 3,400. So, all in all, we can call on well over 10,000 troops which is pretty substantial. Uh, I mean, that's pretty damn good. And we have a lot of money. It might seem like a lot, and I, people keep asking why I'm not spending it, but in this mod, every time we declare war, unless we have some elaborate claim set up, it costs me 500 gold, and so this is really only two wars worth of gold. And that's not factoring in the fact that I have to pay the armies still. Um, let's see, who is this guy? He is the son of Octavius Atius, named Octavius Atius, and he was already betrothed. Did I set that up? I I don't recall. None of you, neither of you look familiar. Although you are kind of generic looking, so I don't know, maybe. But um He is a detached priest. Okay, and they're betrothed. Uh, you're not going to be much of a priest if you're married. But whatever, I honestly don't care. Um, and you guys are just the... You're the son of... The vassal of one of my vassals. So I'm not really all that concerned about who you are. I was just very thrown that it felt the need to uh, notify me about that, but okay. Let's also check in on our um, nephew here. He is almost of age. In fact, uh, we're going to see his birthday any second here. There he is, and he just became a man right in front of our eyes. Seeks to see Juliana the Unfaithful dead. Uh, who's Juliana the Unfaithful? Because we know a Juliana. Hopefully she hasn't been unfaithful. Um, you didn't become a particularly good character, though. That's real disappointing. A dutiful clerk. How did you become a dutiful clerk when I was the one teaching you and I have four learning skill? You couldn't have taken on any other trait based on all the skills I actually have? It's really disappointing. And that is our future heir as well. Um, let's jump into Intrigue and see who this person is. It may not, might not show it just yet. Let's try that again. Um, let's see... Did it just add it? Juliana the Unfaithful. Yeah, nobody I know of. Whatever, I'm not going to worry about it. 
Can we just stop with that? No? Okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever. So, I'm torn. Oh, what do you want? You want that to go through? Um, I don't care. I don't... I must have set this up. It wouldn't have asked me otherwise, but fine. Put it through. Congratulations. So, I can go after Umbra right now. Because we're going to have to do reconquest no matter what. Uh, okay, so... He's the king of Burgundy? Yes. And he's usurped this title. Oh. That's concerning. Huh. But it went to this guy. I, I'm a bit confused here. Okay, it didn't change hands though. Let's see. I promised that he had a chance. Let's see. He loses 10 prestige and he likes me a little bit less. I'm going to stick with my current guy. Sorry, man. He is a lot more important than you are. Uh, that guy doesn't hold any land. The, the current person, or the current incumbent, I guess, is uh, one of my governors. Governor Anisius. And I'd rather not cross him, especially since he's very loyal to me. Donna fancies you. She is married. Domna, excuse me. Um, sure. Have some bastard children. Why not? As long as they don't get legitimized, they won't pose any threats. We'll see if anything comes of that. Um, is that going to pop up here? It is. Okay, good. I'd like to be able to keep track of that if she ends up getting pregnant or something. She's actually a pretty decent character. Um, if we were looking to remarry she would have been a great choice although she is very young in comparison like a third of his age but uh she's married and she's married to oh god to my spy master no less that was uh i should have maybe looked into that a little bit more that's how you get assassinated folks um although we're not that concerned about it are we he wants to marry her I don't think I want to do that. No, let's marry her to somebody within our own court. It's got to be somebody, surely. Um, 25. Let's see, whose house do I like better? You had two daughters, so that's pretty much the end of your line. Although you did have a brother. Okay, so there are more of you guys. Not a lot of you, though. And so her versus this guy. Uh, I don't want to see that so much. Um, matrilineal. Sure, we'll make it matrilineal. Go. Okay. Okay. They are sure taking their time with this claim over here. I wonder if it's better to just abandon that and go for this one. Because we'll need that very soon. And honestly, this isn't necessary for anything. This is technically outside of our... I, I don't know why it would be. I, I would consider that part of Pannonia because frankly... The Danube River was a major dividing force back in these times. The Romans, when the Huns were invading, basically used this as their their primary line of defense, um, especially during like the Goth, the Gothic migrations and stuff. And so, it would have been a very significant natural border. And so the fact that like some of this territory is divided on either side of it is kind of weird. Like this is considered part of the same 
what is that like duchy level title yeah which i i mean i don't think they would necessarily see it that way yeah can we not do that great but nonetheless it's on this side and it's a lot easier for me to defend this than say like these areas around it while they spawn troops here so uh i'd like to have it but it's again not pressing not a pressing concern i would also like to try to make the gepids into um a federati state for us in the same way that we did with the was it you guys yeah with the angles up there has inherited so you just inherited something why are you in prison exactly by this guy there's nothing I can do about that okay I, I don't like that one of my governors is currently locked up but it can't be helped right now so yeah it is what it is can I ransom from here Revoke. Can I revoke a title? Uh, let's see. I can revoke duchies without objections. Technically, there's. I don't think there's anything he could do about it because he's locked up. Generally, what would happen is if I did it, the person would kick off a rebellion or at least try to. But he ain't doing anything from jail. I want to give a special surprise to my loved one. What shall it be? Um, let's see. Poem plus 10% fertility. Oh boy. Um, most beautiful flower in the forest, 25. Or I can... Why would you choose anything but this one? Unless you didn't want bastard children. Like, that's the least... Oh, 50% chance, but that one's guaranteed. That one's guaranteed. But this is more for no money. So I'll do that. And we'll see what comes of it. Let's see. Yeah, plus 25. If they meet again, it very well might uh, turn into something. We already have a bastard child, though, don't we? I feel like we do, but unfortunately there's no way to track it. I wish they had somewhere in here for like illegitimate children. Let's see, so tonight the night sky is clear and you can see every single star shining in the sky like jewels on a fine black dress. What wonder can be found in heaven's creations? What magic? You have a rare moment of peace in yourself as you admire the night sky. Gain two piety. I have like 25,000, 2,500. I don't need two more. And how much longer are you going to live, man? You're 64. This is getting ridiculous. Hmm. And, like, there's no sign of him dying or anything either. He's not... Yeah, he doesn't have, like, any poor traits... Or anything of the sort. She's not pregnant. Um, well, he he might not be fertile anymore. 64 years old and he's got celibacy here for minus 20. So he might well be at zero. I guess I'd have to go into the, the console and check. I don't really care enough to do that though. Um, let's try to prevent this. Again, I just don't like people assassinating other people because inheritance happens and it can be very messy. So, I try to prevent the chaos where I can. Um, oh, I forgot to move you. You need to be there. And I'm going to move you since you don't appear to be having a lot of success there. We're going to go for this one. Again, we need to claim that before we can reconquest 
I mean, it doesn't necessarily need to happen before, it just needs to happen. But we need to reconquest this from a very large faction, so that could be a real problem for us. Um, let's see, 4.4k. It'll probably be more than that. He is a bit broke, though, so he couldn't really call any mercenaries. But I would still wager they're going to send a lot more at us than just 4.4k. Anyways, we need to take these five plus this one. That gives us du jour, or that gives us the ability to create this title. Which gives us du jour claim on the last bit we need here. And then that ticks off another box on our way to becoming Western Roman Emperor. Oh boy, what happened here? Governor Anicius just locked up a whole hell of a lot of people. From the Visgothic Revolt? Why? Are you all from there? It looks like it. History, uh, nah, please don't. Hmm. Seeks to kill. A lot of seeks to kill. Assassinating is generally not the best way to go about things. Because all you're really doing when you assassinate somebody is just passing things along to their heir. And often that heir will hate you because frequently people find out that you were the one that assassinated their parent. And so uh, generally you're not well liked when you do that. So often it's better to, you know, for example, try to... I don't have the option here. I have to find somebody of lesser consequence but uh, generally you can plot to you know force them into treason or create evidence of their treason make them revolt stuff like that and you know of course you have to put down their revolt oh finally finally it happened just of old age or what well, I guess we'll see died a natural death at 64 yeah we have a new heir for character dies will now play as Prince Remus of Italy Defensive Pact opposing Julius Nepos has been disbanded, so we'll have a lot more freedom. And we are now playing as Vicar Remus the Hammer. We have a couple pretenders to the throne, however, and they could become our rivals. Alright. So, the Angles are now a tributary of ours due to inheritance. And Vicar Remus did not inherit our claim on the prefecture of Imona. Okay. So, some weird stuff here. This is now our capital. I don't really care to keep that my capital. I'm actually going to move it to Rome because at some point I will need to do that if I want to reform the empire, so I may as well do it now. Because, again, I don't really have any desire to make this my capital. This actually is not as good as this, but whatever. Um, yeah, they're, I mean, they're similar, but let's move it here. Okay, so that's our new capital. I have three kingdom-level titles. And that, the... Italian one is currently my primary one. I think I'm okay with that. Let's see. This is my only rival right now. You are not yet married. I'm really disappointed in the terrible skills you ended up with. And I could create another kingdom, but frankly, that might not be so great for me. Okay. So I have less prestige, a lot less piety, but a pretty good amount of money. I think I'm going to throw 500 of that. Actually, hold on. Let's go into... Okay. Perfect. So all the defensive packs are gone. No need to concern myself with them anymore. Can I... Ooh. Wait, did our legalism go down? I think we lost a bunch of technology or something. Because I feel like our legalism was already at 2 and I was waiting for it to go to 3. But I need more legalism. Speaking of which... 
Wait. Royal Laws of Italy. It's gavel kind. So I think I need to make this my primary? Hang on a second. This this whole screen changed now I'm confused. So that's agnetic cognatic, as is that one. Uh, this is Agnetic Cosmetic Gavel Kind. So, what do I need to do to change that? Rain for 10 years. Make sure all of my counts or higher have positive opinions of me, which is going to be ridiculously difficult. And one of the following. Huh. It might be easier to just change my primary title. So let's see. Would I want to make Ananaria my primary? Like I, I don't mind having Italy as the primary because obviously we're you know the Roman Empire. Italy's kind of a big part of this, but that is going to create problems because all of my titles will get dispersed thanks to Gavilkind. So. I need that not to be my primary mode of inheritance. And the easiest way to do that is to, you know, change it. So I could go back to having Dalmatia as my primary. As it was before. Ananaria is a bit stronger, larger, and wealthier. Yeah, so see the line of succession here? If it's Ananaria or Dalmatia, we have these three. If I go to Italy, it gets a whole lot longer. Um, let's make it Ananaria. Okay, so that's our new primary title. We have Unlanded Sons. I'm not that concerned about it. Oh, we're like a red now. Okay. Right. Well, that did solve our issue, I believe. Yeah, we're back to this now. Um, this changed a little bit. So, bureaucracy. bureaucracy. Um, we're at mixed. Noble vassal tax. Oh, man. I'm just going to leave it there. Technology fell off a bit. Our own troop count went up considerably, but our vassal one went down considerably. So where does that leave us? Right at about 9,000. So overall, we lost about 500 from that, which isn't terrible. But obviously, it would have been nice to have the maximum. And let's see... I have enough right now to rebuild the Circus Maximus, but do I want to do that? That would leave me virtually broke. I think the better play right now is going after Umbra. What else can we do here? Travel around the realm, see how it's doing. No. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I should have made it Dalmatia. This just looks weird. Oh, well. So, yeah, let's declare war on you guys. Actually, let me check the time. Okay, I knew my YouTube senses were tingling. So, we're at like 34, 35 minutes. I'm going to break off the episode here. I know we didn't get a lot done today, but we finally had the change of hands for our, you know player character which we desperately needed this guy is you know already pretty old and uh not getting any younger i don't think we're gonna be able to take advantage of any of his claims which is a real bummer but here we are so gonna end it here and then in the next episode we'll start off by declaring war on this guy we will go ahead and conquer him yeah we're still not du jour because again the diocese of italy doesn't mean anything at least not yet. So we're going to have to conquer this guy through 
reconquest unless we want to conquer it in somebody else's name which I think would be a very bad move unless it's already landed but yeah, let's just not do that we'll reconquest it that'll leave me with a thousand gold and we'll have six new provinces in Italy which will allow us to create the kingdom of Italy if we want and that will give us du jour rights to these we can offer vassalization should be pretty straightforward if they say no then we conquer them through du jour claims but I don't think they would try to stand up to us and I don't know if we can get rid of I mean obviously we can destroy that title later but again I would prefer to have all dioceses no kingdoms so if you guys know the best way to go about making that um, diocese of Italy a legitimate title let me know because I know it'll happen over time but I don't know how to sort of guide it the way we want it. And you guys might be more familiar with that mechanic than I am. Because I don't tend to mess with that very often. But uh, here is an example of where we might want to. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Crusader Kings 2 with you. And I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.